It's been quite a while since I've tested the fire alarm system in the security experiment room and there's a lot of changes so we're going to do that today. As you can see up there there is an EST Genesis and here's a duplicate. As you can see it is a chime strobe and the model is G1R-CVM and since it's a chime strobe it basically means it's a very quiet fire alarm which is kind of nice. Going down we have a fire blanket there that's been added and as you can see right here we have a BG12 single action pull station. I think it's BG12 SL. We can check that later. And just for comparison I have a dual action one right here. And on the dual action one you actually have to push in on the bar in order to pull it down. Whereas the single action one you just have to obviously pull down to activate it. On the far side of the garage we have another EST G1R-CVM chime strobe. This right here is the Kitta FX-64 fire alarm control panel and then to the right of it we have my Honeywell Vista security system and there is actually one change on the system. The siren that is wired into it is now doing a different tone and today I do have this siren wired into the fire alarm system as well. It is enabled so you will get to hear that tone and actually I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it right now by simulating a police emergency. As you can see there's one of those quick activate buttons. I'm going to go ahead and push the police one and you'll get to hear what the siren sounds like. Yeah, as you can hear, it's pretty loud and it's just rapid and continuous. So when the fireside activates though, it will be coded to code 3 automatically. So we can go ahead and reset this. All right, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pull the Firelight BG12 SL pull station and make sure that the pull station is working as well as all the chime strobes that are wired into the system. Just as a disclaimer, this is my own property on my own garage. I have full permission to pull this fire alarm. Please do not pull fire alarms in buildings when there's not an emergency. Just letting you know I'm not responsible. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Well, I'd say that security siren definitely overpowers the chime strobes by far. And the cool thing about the chime strobes is since they're both EST, and this is an EST fire alarm control panel, they are both in perfect sync, the strobes and the chimes on them, which is pretty cool. All right, the Firelight BG12 SL is still activated, so we're gonna go ahead and reset it with the proper Firelight key. And I'll go ahead and confirm the model while we're on the inside, as you can see, it is a BG12 SL, so I was right. And right there is the switch that activates the alarm. And we can go ahead and close back up the pole station, take the key out, that's all reset. And last week we can reset the panels over here. So we'll go ahead and reset this main one on the fire alarm control panel. And then once that's reset, we can also make sure that the security system is reset.
All right, the main fire alarm control panel is now reset. So we'll go ahead and close the door. And then we'll go ahead and reset the security system. To reset this one, all you have to do is punch in the passcode and then press off. And then you have to do that twice. And now it's reset. And there is a low battery trouble on the system. And that's simply because there is no battery on the system. <laughs> So yeah, all right, I think that's gonna do for the test today. Thank you for watching everyone. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely go check out some other videos and have a great day.